This is the Sales Gravy Podcast. Hi, I'm Jeb Blunt, best-selling author of Fanatical Prospecting Objections, Sales EQ, and Inked, and I'm here to help you open more doors, close bigger deals, and rock your commission check. It's a fact that sales teams that share the experience of reading sales books together have more fun and adopt new skills faster. This is exactly why I created a comprehensive book club guide to go along with my mega best-selling book, Fanatical Prospecting. This 31-page guide has everything your team needs to set up and run a 12-session book club, including summaries, discussion prompts, individual reflections, and exercises. The good news is you may download the book club guide for free, no strings attached. Just go to salesgravy.com forward slash resources. That's salesgravy.com forward slash resources for your free fanatical prospecting book club guide. In one of my favorite quotes from Matthew McConaughey, he says, God, when I cross the truth, give me the awareness to receive it, the consciousness to recognize it, the presence to personalize it, the patience to preserve it, and the courage to live it. Here is a brutal truth. The number one reason for failure in sales is an empty pipeline. And the number one reason for an empty pipeline is the failure to prospect every day, every day, every day, every day. This is the truth, a brutal, universal, and undeniable truth. But of course, the truth, as the saying goes, is a lot like poetry, because everybody hates poetry. A few weeks back, my 24-year-old son was delivering a telephone prospecting workshop for a group of sales development reps who were all about his age. Early in the training, one of the reps pointed out that my book, Fanatical Prospecting, had been written, in his words, a while back. And he asked, is it even relevant anymore? Now, the young have always been eager for the next bright, shiny thing and ready to chunk any ideas that they perceive to be old. That's always been true from one generation to the other. What is also true is that sales reps of all generations for at least the past 125 years have been willing to make any excuse, and I mean any excuse, to avoid the grind and pain of prospecting. And that's exactly what this young man was seeking to do. He wanted my son to let him off the hook, to say that prospecting was old school, that the marketing department should deliver hot leads on a silver platter, and that he could while away the sales day sending asynchronous automated email spam to prospects on his company's sales engagement platform and then call that prospecting. Mostly, what he wanted was validation that the telephone didn't work anymore and that he could avoid talking with people. My son responded to his statement about the relevance of fanatical prospecting with a question. He asked, what do you think has changed in the past six years? The young SDR shot back. Well, nobody answers the phone anymore. At that, my son pulled up his prospecting list for the day, showed it to the group and said, okay, let's test your hypothesis. Then he began dialing right in front of the group of SDRs. In the first 15 dials, he spoke to four decision makers and set two appointments. Then he turned to the group and asked, any more questions? As Elvis Presley so aptly said, the truth is like the sun. You can shut it out for a time, but it ain't going away. Of course, there are the loud voices, mostly on social media, who shout that cold calling is dead, the telephone is dead, sales is dead, and one form or another of prospecting is dead depending on which way the wind is blowing that day. And still others shout loudly from their holier-than-thou mountaintop that robots and AI should take the place of people for sales prospecting activity. They argue that allowing these bots to spam stupid humans via email, text, and direct messaging is the secret to all present and future sales success. But it isn't, because people hate robots and they hate spammers. And when you put these two annoyances together, it only serves to turn prospects off and teach them to ignore generic, mindless robot messages. You see... Being loud, as Mark Homer says in Uncommon Sense, doesn't increase the value or validity of an opinion. In fact, often by the very nature of being the loudest, those opinions are typically the furthest from reality. The young sales rep who challenged my son is among the multitudes of sales professionals who are susceptible to these loud messages that pander to their fear and discomfort with interrupting strangers with prospecting activity. On a perpetual trip to Delusionville and burdened by confirmation bias, 
These salespeople believe that they can avoid prospecting activity and they seek out any information or excuse that contravenes the truth and gives them an easy way out. But you cannot be delusional and successful at the same time in sales. And the results are always predictable. The sales professionals who avoid prospecting spend their days at the feast or famine amusement park riding on the desperation roller coaster. They abandon prospecting, they hide behind excuses, they complain that the leads are weak, and they suffer with a thin pipeline. And this causes them to sell from a place of desperation, miss quota consistently, get fired, move on to the next job, and then they rinse and repeat with the same loser behaviors and the entire process begins again. So let's get real with the truth. You see, the truth is the more people you talk with, the larger your pipeline will grow and the more you will sell. And talking with people means that you need to engage both strangers and existing accounts in real conversations. The truth is that if you don't consistently prospect, you will sub-optimize your income, you will fail, and you will get fired. The truth is prospecting is hard work. It's long stretches of pain and grind and suck interrupted by a few brief moments of elation. The truth is that prospecting is not blissful, fun, easy, or an activity that you are likely to look forward to. It sucks, and nothing will make it suck less. And the truth is, there is no easy button for prospecting. In sales, success is paid for in advance with prospecting, and the rent is due every single day. Therefore, you got to face the truth, right? And you got to make a choice, a choice for success or failure for ultra high performance or mediocrity, for losing or winning. Now, some salespeople get offended when I confront them with these binary and brutal choices, and I get it. You see, the truth hurts and it feels offensive when you are lying to yourself. Cognitive dissonance is a painful emotion, but the lies will cripple you. Never forget that the number one reason for failure in sales is an empty pipeline. And the number one reason for an empty pipeline is the failure to prospect every day, every day, every day, every day. In my book, Fanatical Prospecting, you learn the real secret to improving sales productivity and growing your income fast. And right now, you can download the free 31-page Fanatical Prospecting Book Club Guide that has everything that your team needs to set up and run a 12-session book club, including summaries, discussion prompts, individual reflections, and exercises. And even if you're reading Fanatical Prospecting by yourself, the book club guide is an excellent resource to help you reflect on what you're learning and to put what you're learning into action. And you can download the book club guide for free at salesgravy.com forward slash resources. That's the Fanatical Prospecting Book Club Guide. You can get it free right now at salesgravy.com forward slash resources. I'll see you next time on the Sales Gravy Podcast. 